What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to program a remote key fob to a Chevy Silverado. So in order to do this we'll need an ignition key for the vehicle and all the remotes that you want to work for it. That's going to include any that already already are programmed as they'll need to be reprogrammed in during the procedure. So here I have my new unprogrammed key and here I have my working one. As you can see that one works. This one doesn't. So what we want to do is take our key, put it in the ignition. Now we're going to press and hold down the unlock button on the driver's door and continue to hold it down. So press and keep holding it down. Now I'm going to come over to the ignition. I'm going to turn the ignition from on to off two times and you need to do this pretty quickly. One, two, release the unlock button. The door lock cycle there indicating the vehicle is now in programming mode. So we'll grab the new remote and we're going to hold down both the lock and unlock button at the same time and continue to hold those both down until the door lock cycle again. And sometimes this can take up to 15 or 20 seconds. Door lock cycled, indicating this remote's now programmed. Now we'll grab this one, same thing, press and hold down the lock and unlock button, continue to hold them down until the door lock cycle again. This remote's now successfully programmed. At this point, if you have any additional remotes, you'll repeat that previous step for each remote, pressing and holding down the unlock button until the door lock cycle. Once you're done adding remotes, you can turn the ignition to the on position to exit programming mode. And now let's take the key out and test the remotes. So this was our original remote. That one works. And here's the new one. That one works as well. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.